Hello, this is New Vision TV, and here's what's making headlines. I'm Lynn Komjisha. Rescue teams are still on the lake to retrieve bodies of the revelers who drowned in Lake Victoria Saturday. The death toll is expected to rise as survivors share the stories of how the ill-fated boat turned the journey of happiness into sorrow. New Vision TV takes you through the events that happened from KK Beach where the boat set off. For Kampala socialites, Saturday was another day to start a fun-filled weekend. Enchanted by music and booze on the house, the boat set off at Keke Beach in Gawa by 5 p.m. on Saturday evening. It did carry no ordinary people as the Prince of Buganda, David Wasaja, and some of the city tycoons were bored. Even those who had been left hired a motorboat to catch up with the fun. However, the fun was never to be, and a few kilometers into the water, there were signs all was not well with the boat. The survivors even say the boat would park in the middle of the water for the operators to restart the engine. First, the water level in the boat was rising, and the engine started coughing. There came the need to balance, and the members were asked to do the needful. All signs that something was amiss. At some point, the mast was bending, as seen from afar, which prompted fishermen and people on canoes to rush to the boat to alert the people catastrophe was looming. The captain, who thought he would make an emergency landing at Mutima Beach, was a few hundred meters before the boat overturned. The rest were wails, cries, and frantic efforts to rescue the over a hundred people who were on the boat. In his account, Jojo Nyango, a fisherman in Mukono district, danced to the songs he heard from a boat on the lake before it capsized. <laughs> Onyango immediately called on his fellow fishermen and sailed to the sinking boat. during the process of rescuing the revealers, about two boats drowned with the rescuers because many survivors had jumped into them. Edward Katerega, one of the survivors, explains how he survived and the state of events at the time. Edward 
efforts to rescue paid off and 27, including singer Irene Nambiru and Prince Wasaja, were rescued. However, another 32 have been confirmed dead, while efforts to get others are still going on. The police and the UPDF rescue team have dived in the lake for the second day with little hope that they can find any survivor. There is little hope for survivors because we would have seen them during the morning site operations. We suspect now that we have to look for the dead. AIGP Asmani Mujeni, the director of operations, asserts that the boat was not licensed to proceed with the boat cruise. Moving on, residents of Lira, municipality in Lira district, are worried about the abrupt famine that may hit them as mango trees that save them during famine are drying up. Some say there's a rare disease that has attacked the mango trees regardless of age. We have more on this story. Mangoes are considered as very important in the northern region of Uganda since they are harvested for trade but also as food at the time when other types of food are scarce and probably when hunger hits the region. Many feed on them for survival but this may not be the case in the future since the trees are drying up and yet they are experiencing some rains. We actually don't know the cause of mangoes getting dry in this area. So far the five signs of mangoes that has got dry. One got dry there in December and like we cut it off, we used it for firewood. This one has just got dry over recent, last week. It started getting dry after us taking all the mangoes from it, it started drying. And then there's another branch there, also started getting dried like uh, two weeks after this one got dried. And then there's also a jackfruit there, just yesterday it started getting dry. And actually, it's not only this place that, what, that the mangoes are getting dry. Uh, in the neighborhood, two stands are already dry. And then in the next neighborhood, there are also three stands that have got dried. Dan Okrut, a resident of Chirombe North Adele Division in Lira, says the rare disease which leaves the leaves of trees dried up attacks them irrespective of their age. It's not our first time to see it. It's our third time to see it. Mostly in all these areas, uh, I think it's the same disease, so we actually don't know the cause of these mangoes getting dry. Maybe people who are concerned or maybe people who have ideas about it should come and tell us more about it. Dokas Alum, the district agriculture officer of Lira, attributes this to a fungus. So when we went and we observed the signs and symptoms that were presented by the trees, we realized that uh, there was uh, mixed infections of fung fungal infections from these trees. Because when we dig out the trees, the roots had actually sown decoloration right from the roots up to the vascular tissue. They were dying back. Alum called on the community to always report any signs so that proper treatment is administered and encourage them to practice crop rotation. So what we would recommend, you can do maybe crop rotation. You don't need to take back the same crop of the same family on the same, same, on the same field every year because we have already realized that where farmers have been growing potato, potatoes, Tomatoes, eggs, plum, year, the following year, then again, continuously, they have been having problem of, of nematodes, which is, has become a, a big challenge. This report was compiled by Adson Apunio for New Vision TV. Still with news coming in from Lira District with several attempts by a number of media friends and stakeholders to have Lira-based Radio Unity 97.7 FM reopen. The station remains closed. Security operatives in Lira shut down Radio Unity Saturday, 17th November during a weekend music show on allegations of inciting violence. According to Lira District Police Commander Joel Tuawone, during the burial of 11-year-old Deacon Zokelo, a pupil of Alito Primary School, was allegedly killed earlier this month.
In sports news, the M10 Marathon undoubtedly remains Kampala's biggest social event. Sunday's edition of the annual event, however, showed a marked decrease in the number of participants. This was attributed to a somber mood following the Lake Victoria cruise accident that claimed many lives. Hard economic times rocking many people have also been given as a reason for the decreased numbers. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at Lake Nkugute. It is a crater lake located in Rubilizi district in Bunyaruguru County. Aside its amazing additions to the district, its astonishing Africa shape has left many referring to it as Lake Africa. Lake Nkugute is associated with many tales, but what a non-resident will tell you after his or her visit is that Uganda is endowed with incredible features and this lake is of course among them. An area view clearly shows an African map, but this is Lake Inkogute. This lake is found in Rovirizi district in, west, in the western part of Uganda. Unlike other lakes with less vegetation, Nkogute is much blessed with crops, eucalyptus trees, and its water is used for various activities by the locals. Some engage in fishing, not forget farming. The tourists who come to spend most of their time on this lake engage in hiking, swimming, and sunbathing. Now settlers have also embraced this locality because of its favorable weather. Now from a part of Africa stories, visit our website which is www.newvision.co.ug or newspaper The Sun Division is also another home of adventures so grab your copy every Sunday for Pearl of Africa stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere in the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Komjisha.